Well, hello and welcome to this new series on the old valley, the old farm. In the series, we're going to be establishing an urban farm. So we've bought a small little plot in the in the town, and you'll get to see pretty much where it's situated during the course of this first video. Right, so we've already got started. We've got a few a few resources already in the greenhouse and the outside vegetable plots. Just adding the straw, which is a requirement. You have to place the, the straw just just inside the the actual garden. And there we go, let's get started. It takes water, and for these greenhouses and open air plots, you need pellets as well, which is a nice new little innovation. Right, so we're just popping up to the farm, and to, to the farm, from the farm to the, to the shop, which as you can see, is just around the corner. As I said, we are in the urban area. So the objective is to basically establish an urban farm, do some urban farming, which can necessitate, necessitate small machinery. It's a very tight little area to start off with. Um, we're also going to be trying to use electric vehicles or small vehicles um, as much as possible. This is one little vehicle that I've never used before and it's actually fantastic, especially for this sort of loading at the shop tutting. This JCB, what's it called? T Tele truck. Fantastic little machine. Don't know why I've never noticed it before. In any case, it'll be used well in the future. Right, so we've just popped up to the store, as I said, um, to pick up some straw. Because um, the, all, the, all the units that I have at the moment, so the big greenhouse, is a wonderful big new greenhouse on this map. Absolutely fantastic. And the two outside gardens require straw, which is a nice innovation i suppose it's a kind of mulching thing i would imagine the thought behind it but in any case that's not too much of a problem obviously to start off with we're going to have to be buying in all our raw materials because we don't have any any of the raw materials the basic raw materials are Water, of course, which is not a problem. We've got water, a uh, water tap on the farm. Um, straw, which is a new requirement, which I haven't done before. But so we'll just buy that in, and we'll. We've got a, a field which has got grass on it at the moment. We'll get that cut, make a little bit of money of that, and um, convert that to a straw straw producing plot, or plot of ground or field and that'll get us self-sufficient on the on the straw front we also need to in the greenhouse have solid fertilizer and manure and unlike some of the other greenhouses that we have uh, in the game this big greenhouse requires both solid fertilizer and, mit and manure so we have negotiated with the with the animal dealer that uh, he will put up a silo very close to us well on our land but very close to the animal to the uh, animal 
a dealer shop area and we'll be able to get manure from there at a reasonable rate in exchange for having the silo on our on our property right so we've got those eight bales loaded and here you can just see from a different vantage how close we are to the shop oh, stop for the pedestrians and this is the top entrance so we've got three entrances to the farm this is the what i will call the top entrance we've got the side entrance and the bottom entrance down at the bottom so our land stretches all the way down to that white area and that gate down at the bottom so fairly small but also you know a little bit to get going and as you can notice it's in the, the small little urban area on on the map so we want to get this urban farm going there is some space to add some more greenhouses down at the bottom of the field and I think we'll put in some more open gardens we'll, that we can plant potatoes or these nice and sort of make some french fries um, I think this is a French map or certainly a European map wonderfully detailed as you'll see as we go around right so we've got the big field going pop these into the I'm just producing everything that can be produced to start off with we will refine that as we go along if need be right so I think we've got a bit of water in here we've got nothing else none of the other raw materials put the straw in there we'll put another bale in so that it can just self-feed for a while so this telehandler is electric as well as the little tractor that we've got going. We also have the John Deere which is a um, diesel, small diesel utility vehicle which you'll get to see in the not too near, well in the near future, in the not too near future. Oh gee. Yeah. So we've got that, um, and that's going to be our basic starting equipment. Where possible, we'll use electric vehicles. Obviously, we want to, because we're doing urban farming, we want to keep down the the pollutants, the air pollutants, as much as possible. So we'll be using smallish vehicles. Well, we can't really use big vehicles in this um, in this area. I'm pretty excited to get this started. It's a, it was just a quick squiz there. Should have left that up for a bit longer. Um, showing you the requirements. So in that big, in the big, uh, the big uh, greenhouse. As I said, we need we need everything. We need water. We need pellets. We need solid fertilizer. We need manure, and we need straw. That's going to keep us busy keeping those full all the time, trying to become self-sufficient as much as we can. So one of the objectives, as I said, is to buy the is to buy the starting farm, the old farm. Plus, we need to buy one other farm, and that farm is probably going to be the pig farm, so that we can become self eventually become self-sufficient on manure as well. I'm presuming, of course, that the pigs uh, in this uh, in this game produce manure. I haven't found out, but in any event, <laughs> we'll cross that bridge when it happens. So basically, we have to buy the pig farm first, and then buy the old farm. And once we've bought the old farm, then that will be the game done. So we've oversupplied on straw. Not a problem, we'll just get that all 
stacked away here and it will be utilized. I'm quite enjoying this electric forklift. Seems to be working very well, very maneuverable of course, being four wheel steered. Fantastic. We do have a charging point on the farm as well. So during the course of this video we'll also want to get this field mode and just take the grass or we'll make hay, take the hay off, get that sold to bring a little bit of income in and then uh, we will convert that into a crop producing field and we'll plant wheat and barley so that we can keep a spraw, a, spraw, <laughs> a, a constant supply of straw as and when needed. Whoa, that little bump, this little tractor just does we well, gets a little bit of air when it goes over there at speed. Right, so we're going to go and buy some follet, follet, solid fertilizer. Having a bit of a problem in the talking stakes today. Right, let's get this loaded. With my new favorite loading machine. Fantastic. Yeah, it's got both those bags out without any problem, so it doesn't have, seem to have any problem with picking up a reasonable amount of weight. Two bags at a time. Can't ask for a lot more than that. We're just going to park it off and get this back down to the farm. Get that into the greenhouse. I don't think this will fill the the fertilizer requirement but it'll get us started yeah, I'm not quite sure yet what the utilization will be every day we'll have to play that by ear and uh, plan that uh, as we go along hopefully we can just pick it up with the still got the bale forks on Too lazy to go and change. I do have pellet forks, which, which I could must, which meant would have meant that I could most probably have picked up both those bags at the same time. Yes, I like this big greenhouse. Another new inno innovation on this wonderful map. I like the fact that you can drive into it. Have struggled a little bit with some of the trailer stuff. Well, not struggled, but uh, it, it's like any any other new new map. You've just got to find your routines and find out what works best. thing of course with the electric vehicles is the vehicle sounds are so much different to what I'm normally used to on this game the very quiet electric sound of course that overall is one of the I suppose you would call them drawbacks of electric vehicles is that they are so silent and I know one of the concerns have always been that people would not realize the danger of a vehicle coming along the road with electric vehicles because they're so quiet and, and that's why I think a lot of electric vehicles, certainly cars, have implemented actual sounds really you know, to, um, to warn people 
make it sound more like an old vehicle there. But I'm sure we'll get used to those things as as things changes change over time. It's one thing about humans, we're pretty good at evolving. Well, that's my opinion. I'm sure there will be other people that that would say that we are very set in our ways, generally speaking. Right, so here we go. Let's go and buy some pallets. So they fit they're fifty euros each. Buy them up to batches of ten. And it would seem that the the different greenhouses and uh, and gardens can accommodate ten pallets at a time. which is a thousand units so I'm quite interested to see whether I'm not sure whether we'll only be able to generate 10 pallets of product at a time because when you when you look at the at the inputs and the stores of inputs it shows a thousand liters when you put of pallets but we know we've only bought 10 pellets, so it's going to be interesting to see. Which might mean that we need to keep pellets pretty much right next to it so that we can fill them up as, as and when needed. I'm not quite sure how many pellets a day this big greenhouse will produce. And these are all things that we'll find out. Very interesting new I mean we've done greenhouses before but to start off with this is going to be basically greenhouse productions and open air garden productions to start with right so this is where the so behind this this silo here is the animal dealer and he was looking for a spot to put a a silo to dispense his manure and we get it at a reasonable price so that whole thing is only what, 200 odd euros but I do have to allow these other customers to come in and collect from there as well Quid pro quo, as I say. So we'll get back up. So that's the bottom entrance. That's the side entrance over there on the right hand side. At least we don't have to go far for our lunch. And this is the top entrance. So I should have come in the side entrance there, it would have made it, oh, we're going to have to turn around now because I'm going to have to reverse into her uh, with this there we go yeah, things are things are starting, things are getting going I think as we as soon as we put this in uh big greenhouse will go live Yeah, that's working. I'll get this trailer parked up and we'll start on mowing the grass. I don't think I'm going to be doing a lot of grass in this episode or in this episode in this series. I've done on my Bellum, Bellum Road series, I've done grass until it's coming out of my ears but then again that's a cattle farm so right so we've got this nice little mower and works quite well behind the small electric tractor which is only six horsepower 
Uh, so this doesn't give us any grass down to the bottom. It's no problem. We're going to be utilizing that area, so we'll just tidy up all the grass there, cut it all down before we before we uh, put in some some more greenhouses down there. I think we're going to be, as I said, doing potatoes so that we can get the chip that we can supply the chip factory and yeah we, who knows we might even buy the chip factory so factory somewhere along the line certainly would want to have some sort of productions going but those plans will be made as as we go along quite impressed with this little electric tractor not struggling too much on this hillside working at quite a pace yeah, 20, 20 odd uh, well it's kilometers an hour forgot we in Europe <laughs> not miles an hour Case power. I thought, oh, it's really speedy. <laughs> right here. Yeah, so it's not a huge field, but I think we're about to, as we can see, the, uh, as I mentioned earlier on, I was going to say we don't need a lot of straw, but we don't know. We don't know yet. We don't know how quick, how often we're going to have to replenish. They don't seem to ha um, hold a lot of a lot of store or stock, should I say? In the I've just spe sped this up. Uh, I know it seems a bit hectic, just because if you've watched any of my other series, you've seen me do this plenty of times but I do want to show this field off to its full extent in this first episode and also the equipment that we've got so we're pretty well stocked in terms of equipment we haven't had to buy any additional equipment from what we started with Of course, we had been, we've had, we had make, made a substantial investment in purchasing this little farm and all the equipment. I think we're left with about, oh, I'm not sure, we, we, we've got about 19,000 at the moment. We've, of course, bought quite a bit of stock. I think we were 30 odd thousand when we started. Was it just yeah, forty-one thousand? I think we had to contribute a little bit towards the building of the silo. I think it was two thousand euros, two thousand five hundred euros, um, just to make it a proper joint venture. And yeah, we're just staying in the mobile home at the moment till we can get a house built, or we might buy a house in town. we can, I'm not sure if we can buy a house in time, we'll have to check that out. Yes, I've also got my eye, just as we come out the, out the, um, the store area, as you're coming out to the right hand side, there's an, another little grass field there, got my eye on buying that at some point in time, just to give us a bit more land and we can put a another crop in there to to help us along i'm not really sure how much money the greenhouses or how quickly they're going to generate uh, finances but we'll have to live in a debt 
Well, that's where we're going to end this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed this. Do hope you've enjoyed the new take or the new direction that this one is going to be operating and trying to be different from some of the others. And we'll see you in the next episode. Thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed it. It does help me out. And cheerio!